welcome back to this channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make sorrel wine i already uploaded a video showing you how to make sorrel drink this recipe is different this is sorrel wine now unfortunately you can only use the fresh sorrel to make the sorrel wine so at this time of the year sorrel is going out of season so i purchased 100 pounds of fresh sorrel from a sorrel farmer and then i wash it which takes quite a bit of a time and then i put it on what we call a trapaulin to drain the water not necessarily to dry but to drain the water and then i put 10 pounds of sorrel into each keg now a keg is what you will probably call a bucket you know we say bucket sometimes we say keg sometimes in jamaica but the keg must be made of very thick plastic if you put the sorrel into a keg that is made of thin plastic then the sorrel wine will taste like plastic so yes yeah, so i put 10 pounds of sorrel into each keg and then to that i added two pounds of brown sugar and then one pound of pimento seeds and then i cover the keg and i put it in a corner in the car porch a car porch what we call a car porch in jamaica is the car garage what you call a car garage where you park the car or you park your car at your home yes we call it car porch in jamaica so that's where i kept the kegs with the sorrel now what the brown sugar does is to pull all the juices and water from that sorrel flower or from the sorrel flowers and the pimento fermented it or fermented them prevented them from spoiling so that's basically it so the first week of december because now is what now is almost March and they are currently in a section of the car porch already you know on their way fermenting so it will take a couple of months well so the first week of December I will just strain off the wine yes and it smells like red label wine for those who know how Jamaican red label wine smells it's sort of kind of smell like red label wine and it tastes like red wine so it's just a mixture of both it's very nice so um, the first week of December I will strain off the, um yes yeah, strain off the, the the wine from whatever is left of the flowers because they were like disintegrated and then i will probably video that and then i will pour it into bottles that's glass bottles and then i will keep it into the cupboard do not put it into the fridge so that when you know at christmas time family members from overseas and so forth visit you can just give them a bottle of the real authentic sorrel wine or if you're going overseas you just bring a bottle or two bottles to your family members and friends so let me show you how it is done The purpose of this video i will use two pounds of sorrel which will produce just a tiny amount of sorrel wine so as i mentioned before i purchased 100 pounds of sorrel you know so in order for you to get a lot of sorrel wine you will need to use a lot of fresh sorrel wash your sorrel and leave it on that area of the sink to drain to get rid of the water and then put the sorrel into a pot because i do not have any keg i am out of kegs 
all my kegs are used up so i am using a pot for the purpose of this video as i mentioned before so put the sorrel into the pot and then to that add quarter pound of brown sugar as well as quarter pound of pimento seeds pimento is what you call allspice overseas so after that cover the pot and then i just put it into the oven for two weeks So after two weeks, this is the result. This is just a small amount of sorrel. This is all natural. No water was added as you see before. This is what the sugar pulls out of the sorrel blossom. Yeah, so this is it. This is the real sorrel wine. So in December, if life spare, when i am straining off the amount of sorrel wine and everything like that i will video it just to show you the amount of sorrel wine from 100 pounds of sorrel it's not on the internet this is like a family secret that i'm sharing with you so i'm gonna put my name to this okay thanks for watching remember to subscribe and share my videos and click the notification bell so that you will know when I uploaded a new video. Yeah, thanks for watching.